It's Wednesday morning, just checking in from the Barnhart house. Uh, I wanted to introduce you to uh, my new barber. This is terrifying. Uh, I, uh, Katie and I have been talking about this morning just expectations and um, the reality that we're experiencing and uh, some of the frustrating things that can come from uh, there being a gap between what we expect and what we're experiencing. And uh, I definitely am wrestling with that. I don't know what your story is right now. But this morning I was, I was in the, our little office that we made in the back of our garage. And I was um, studying and, and preparing and writing and just trying to get ready for this weekend. And, and the expectation that I had on myself and, <laughs> and uh, the expectation that I had for the week and even the morning, I just wasn't meeting that. There was a large gap between what I expected and what I was experiencing. And, and I was getting more and more frustrated by that. And Katie came out and we were talking through it and, and the water level just rose so much internally. I got so frustrated that I, I slammed my fist down on uh, the desk. And, and desk is actually a really kind word. It's actually more like a shelf. I just took a bunch of random pieces of lumber in the garage and made a <laughs> shelf to put my books and computer on. And so when I hit the shelf, uh, my, my cup of coffee that I had just poured and a full glass of water um, they didn't appreciate the disruption and they dumped directly into my lap. I just looked down and uh, I was like, man, this is exactly how life feels right now. This is how I feel right now. And uh, maybe that's kind of what life feels like for you right now. Uh, nothing's normal. I mean, come on, you're watching me get my hair cut. Life is not normal. Uh, and the expectations that we have on ourselves the expectations that we have on our families, our spouses, leaders, our kids, and what we experience, what's, what our reality is, that gap can be huge. And in that place, we can get overwhelmed and, and frustrated. And I'm reminded this week as we think through Holy Week, as we, as we process what Holy Week means. Um, this, was, this was what was true for the disciples too. They had a lot of expectations. Uh, especially as they walked with Jesus for a few years and they, they saw him do more and more miraculous things. They had ideas on, on who he was and how he was going to operate and what it meant for them as his followers. And as they got closer and closer to Friday, things seemed... Uh, what did he just say? I don't know. As they got closer and closer to Friday, things seemed to unravel. All the stuff that they expected, all the things that they were hoping for, um, took it just a hard turn and they were in that place of going what does this even look like and I, I find some strength and courage in the story um, today and as we head into Sunday because Jesus stayed present with them he was with them through it all he was patient he was gracious he was kind towards them and even post-resurrection, as they still were confused on what was happening, Jesus showed up in the middle of their confusion and their questions. And he continues to do that. Uh, I think the Lord does his greatest work in us, in that in-between place, between what we expect and what our reality is. And the work that he wants to do there, it's, it can be really painful, it can be overwhelming. Uh, it can... It, it's perspective shifting, it's, it's world shaking, it really is. Um, but he gets our attention, he gets a hold of our heart, and he transforms us. And that's what we want to be about. We want to be transformed. And so take courage this week and knowing that, that Jesus is with you, the Spirit of God is with you. God loves you, uh, and he is doing a great work in us and through us during this time. We, we look forward to celebrating uh, Easter with you.